Hello, welcome to Rapidia, where we train future super structural engineers. My name is Fashet Uchet. Today, we want to teach you on how to check your connection, either they are failing or not. Now, we all know that in Ekdel, we normally um, model, design, analyze, and all of those things, and check our design status to see if our members are all, what are perfectly okay and safe. But having done that, when it comes to proto steel, when it comes to steel design, you discover that all your structural members here, you might have done it perfectly okay, safe, pass. Is that okay? After checking your design status, which you are going to check for this one, but also you discover that you are not going to print from here. You have to take this particular uh, design to what to um, proto steel, where you are going to do your what all your connections. In that place, there's need for you to know either your connection are failing, or connections are failing, or or not so how do you do that many at times you discover that once you get there you do your connection and you just go without checking either your connection or what are failing or not looking at this structure is very very heavy you can see very heavy it's water tank and the water the volume is somehow it's not small it's somehow much so therefore for me to be able to load it properly i have to use this uh, pole line you know that practically pole line pole lines are not going to be used isn't it so the only thing they are going to be used that going to, that is going to be used outside is what is checker plate that we, which they are going to be welded to this uh, um to these beams is that okay so i only use this uh, this one this uh, uh, pole line to be able to load this structure properly and you know that using a uh, using my cladding you discover that I cannot use you can't use cladding without what without a pole line and I don't want to use a point load is that okay or full uh, full uniform load so I want to use what I want to use area load is that okay I'm using area load because of the volume is that okay so and for me to use area load successfully I have to make use of what cladding is that okay so now looking at this this my structure is perfectly okay so therefore let's dive in and see how this can be done is that okay so as i said the purpose of this lesson is to show you how you can check your connection status either they fail or not just as you have checked this one the design status of this modeling is that okay it has been designed it has been analyzed everything has been done you can see it's perfectly okay all around perfectly okay so that is that now what about our connection that we are going to do there's a place you need to check either they are failing or not before you cannot export it to autocad in case you don't know how to model or how to analyze and design at the same time you know do your connection and uh, do your connection and export to autocad we have done a video on how to do your connections at the same time export your uh, quota details still detail to autocad so that is that in case you have not subscribed to ekidel i want to say you should subscribe and also like our videos by this you are encouraging us and uh, by liking also you are making our video to go viral to also help others as it's also helping you too so therefore let's dive in and see how this can be done is that okay so therefore let's move let's go there and see so now having done this what you need to do now is to click on your is to come to this place once once i've done that come to drawing and reports is that okay and once you click on this this one comes up is that okay as i said once you click on this is that okay this comes up so once this one comes up at this point here i want to listen very very carefully very very well is that okay very very well very important so therefore all you need to do for you to do it at this point you need to do your connection isn't it so now i would like to walk you through i would like to walk you through by the time you open it this is what you are going to see this is your macro gallery. This is your macro gallery. So, and in case you have not known how this one, these ones are being used, we have explained this in other videos, whereby we explain what these ones are meant for. And for now, when you look at this structure, you discover that we have column and we also have what beams, isn't it? Is that okay? So, and we also have what brazing. So now, at this point, if you want to connect your column and beam, you have to come here and check which one is a column and beam. We have beam to column, which is this one, beam to what to column, isn't it? Now we are going to click on what on this directly. You can see these are the various methods in which you can connect your beam to what to columns so these are the a various method in which you can use to connect your beams to what to columns so therefore let's now see now for this for instance let me click on this one let me choose this one and click click on this one first and also on this one and then right click and let's see see you can see unsupported isn't it so is that okay so let me click on this one and use this one and click on this one and click let's wait for it Let's wait for it. It's not responding. It's not responding. So therefore, that's one. So now, therefore, let me now click on this one, this particular one. Let me click on it and click and then and click and right click. So let's wait for it. So you can see our connection has been 
fixed, isn't it? So therefore, let me also come to this place and do the same thing. Click on this one and click on this and then right click and let's wait for it. You can see perfectly fixed. So let me click on this one and also on this one and then this one, you see, it's coming up. So you can see, you can see how they are connected. You can see to us perfectly as we can see, they are very, very okay. Is that okay? Very, very okay. For us, it's very, very okay, isn't it? So therefore, let me now choose this one again. Let's assume I want to change it. Is that okay? I want to change this. So all I need to do for me to change this one, let me now say I'm using this one now. I'll click on this one, come to this one, and also click on this one, and then right click, and let's wait for it. So you can see it here. So you can see it, this one now. So for instance, what we have done now, how do you now check if this one is safe? Is that okay? How do you now check if this one what is perfectly okay? Is that okay? So therefore, before you go further, so that you know the one we are going to use to do all your connections. Is that okay? Once we have known the one that is safe, that's what we are going to be using for all. Is that okay? So that is that. So once we have done this, all these ones, all you need to come and do is to come and click on this. Click on it. Click on it and wait for it. Is that okay? So let's wait for it. So you can see, it's showing fail. You can see fail. Do you see it now? Fail, fail, fail. This one pass. Is that okay? So now, we now check which of them pass. Is that okay? You have to now check which of them pass. And how do you do that? How do you do that? Let me see how I can minimize this place. On one side very good very good very good so now how do you now know which one is safe and which one is pa is passing among these connections is that okay and even before that let me also do something let's go further let's say we are not doing we are done with this uh, um beam beam to column so let's see our our work our brazing so click on this one let me pick one of the brazing let me pick on this one sorry let me pick on this this one this and this then right click okay let's say i have that let's assume i have that okay is it this one um this okay no let's say i pick this one this one this one and then right click okay so let's assume that's what i'm having is that okay let me also check this one let me assume this check this one okay let me check this one click on this this and this then right click okay let me assume this is what I'm having. Is that okay? So therefore, let me now check if my connection are what are okay before I can export. So I'll come to this place. Come to this place called what? You see, under drawing and report. Is that okay? Not under intelli con intelli connect, not under edit, not under view, not under still, but under what? Drawing and report. So once you click on it, this place pop up. Is that okay? So all you need to do is to click on what? On design summary. So once you click on it and let's wait for it. Is that okay? Let's wait for it. You can see now you can see that as you can see here you can see that most of them are what are failing this one is failing this uh that's a flank plate moment connection macro was what is failing this one is failing this one is failing this one is passing so therefore how do you now know which one failed because you have put so let me use the word so many um connection or some connections already so you don't know which one that is, that is passing or failing so therefore you now what do you need to do let me click on this one this double let me double click on this one that failed double click so you can see it now. So do you see it now? Which means that this what this one failed. Do you see it now? So is this one that failed? So let me also check this one. So you can see that means all all this type are what are failing. So you can see this one too also fail. Which means we are going to delete this one. You can't you can't use it. If you use it, it's dangerous. It's going to fail at sight. Is that okay? So do you see it now? So which one passed? Let's check it. So you can see this one passed. So do you see it now? That means is this one we are going to use. Is that okay? Is this one we are going to use now? So and let's check this one. Double click on it. You can see that means this uh, our connection this exists place is also okay. Let's check on this one. This one is also okay. Check on this one. This one is also okay. And that is all. Is that okay? So which we are going to delete that one and use this one, this particular one, to do our connection, isn't it? So therefore, close this one. That's how to check it. So you now come to this place and what? Or if you like, not to waste much time, let me just undo. Since I've known what is required, let me undo them. And then now use the instead of turning, rotating, and all of that. So let me just undo it okay so i've undo i've, I've undo, uh, undo undo them so therefore since i've not the one that passes so all i need to do okay let me start with this guard let me just pick this one this one this one and this one then right click so that one pass isn't it that one has shown us that is what it passed so let me click on this one sorry let me use the main one so let me click on this one click on this one 
click on this one then right click so that is what you have that's how to connect all this brazing all so that's that and then let me now also come to this place my beam to column so my beam to column which is this one so since i don't need this one anymore so i minimize it so that i'm only i'll only be left with what i'm working with is that okay so now for me to do this one so i know that this one passed so this is this isn't it i'll come and click on this one then come to this one click here click here then right click is that okay so that is that and also click here click here right click so let's wait for it you can see they are coming up click here click here right click we it now so that is that also come here click here click here right click so do you see it now so that is that so you can now see that they are safe isn't it they are perfectly okay but don't forget that okay let's now check our design status isn't it let's check it's very very important so let's now check let's check if we are good to go let's check it let's check it come on come on come on come on come on so you can see everything pass you see now all everything perfectly okay do you see it now which means we are good to go so that's what we are going to use to do our connections is that okay so that is that so now for me to know you want to pass let me double click so you can see that's that you can see it here as i double click it has shown me the one that particular one as i double click on this one too so you can see it here too as i double click on this one too so you can see this one too so you see you see me it's showing me that this one that passed you see double click on this one too it will show me isn't it so therefore let me close it so have done this I know that this one is spa, is, is, is okay. So now I need to know if you look at the thickness of this my plate that's been wedded to this column, it's somehow thick, isn't it? So let's see how can we reduce this. Is that okay? How can we reduce the thickness of this air? Uh, um, of this you double click. Is that okay? Let me close it again. So you double click on this plate, double click on it. Once you double click, you can see the thickness 55 that's quite much that's quite much so all you need to do click on the, uh, select it and put let's say let's say 20 is that okay because how heavy the thing is the work is if not then we have used 10 let's use a um 20 and click on what now let me minimize be watching this place be looking at this place 20 click on apply you use it now that's reduced isn't it so click on what on okay click on okay so that is that so and let's also check this one too double click on this one let's double click and let's change this one to what to 20 thickness click on apply let's watch see very okay that is that and we also need to know either this 20 pass or not is that okay because it's at 55 it passes but now at 20 let's see if it will pass is that okay so let's before we do the rest is that okay so let's wait for it i've clicked on the summary design so you can see all of them still pass is that okay so let's check it let's check it so you see that first one we did perfectly okay this is now it passed that means it's okay so now what we need to do is now do the rest and do what double click once you double click now you do this one towards to 20 then do what apply and not and okay so that means we are good to go so also come to this place do this one double click on this one and also um reduce it to 20 okay apply and what and say okay so you can see we have reduced it is that okay so that is that and at what point at what thickness this this our we said plate pass let's look at the thickness see at 10 is that okay 10 is perfectly okay so let's make it at 8 let's assume 8 click on apply watch you see it has reduced then click on okay therefore let me also check the other one this one double click on it as i double click on it let me see 10 is actually okay but let's wait first if it will pass it thickness so we're looking at this we're looking at this so let me click on it this is now it has reduced i click on what on okay so therefore let me check my design status let's check where is it where is it okay let me click on it and let's wait for it okay okay so let me minimize let's do it again and let's wait for it okay so you can see all still pass let me check on it let's check on it let me double click on this one and let me see so you see let me minimize this one so you see it passed so which means that thing is very very what very very okay so that is that this is how you check your design um, your design status for all your connections so you can see so by this one now we have known which of the type of connection we are going to use to connect our beam to our column so this is now so likewise when it comes to beam to beam and like we said please we have used this is how you check all your connection how to do connections you can as we have said we have explained on this one you can watch other videos we only use this one to do what to show you how you can check your your connection either they fail or 
the pass so thank you very much as i said in case you have not clicked on subscribe button i want to say you should click on subscribe button and also like our videos we also have an academic mentorship class whereby we train specially beyond this uh, beyond this uh, this stage we will tell you some things which is not being said here because why we not say it here is because we are concentrating on a particular you know area this is now so when it comes to mentorship class we will tell you what everything is that okay and also we have a group whereby other engineers have come together to do what to see how they can solve each other's problem for example as i'm designing this one and i discovered that i'm having a challenge all right i will quickly post to that equity group before you know it other engineers who are also professionals will also do what quickly respond to my question and before you know it the answer will be given to me and i execute it here is that okay so that is that so thank you very much till i see you next time in case you have not watched the other part still designs we have done a lot on steel design so you can click to go to your youtube rather and click and check our videos on steel thank you very much this one is very important that's why we quickly brought it up because people are asking for this particular uh, one we just did now thank you very much till i see you next time next time bye